Hello viewers, today we're gonna to talk about generative adversarial network. In short, it's called GANs. GANs for synthetic data generation. I'm Ray Islam, also go very well. First of all, to before we know what GAN is, let's hear first what GAN can do for us. GANs can help us generate missing values, generate synthetic data. If we don't have en enough data, we can synthesize more data based on the actual uh, actually available data and we could use the synthetic data plus actual data to build better prediction prediction model we can identify error values gans has been explored to identify fraud it also can hypothetically can be used on classified site and to generate data and those data could be passed to the unclassified site and based on that someone who does not have access to classified data can build model and pass the model back to the classified site so data scientist in the classified site who has a clearance who has access to classified site can run that model and see how it functions and it should function perfectly that's the expectation and more so let's see a few case studies one of the Application of GANs is on image processing. As of yet, image processing is the major application for GANs. What types of application it can have? There are many. It can generate image data out of, based on real data, but new types of images. It can also do other things, like say for an example, this is an image here. Kids bathing in the rain. So GANs can separate this image image plus strike separately it can divide this into two different images and it can take the rain strikes off it can look like there, there are no rain it can make day as a light light as a day it can modify image like that GAN can generate art new pictures so this is a abstract types of paintings it's totally generated by GANs artificial intelligence GAN is artificial intelligence and it looks so real so there is a big market for pictures generated by artificial intelligences like GANs. And there are other types of algorithms too. This, these images are also generated by GANs. This image no one drew. Based on many drawn images, GAN came up with these new images. Based on many Van Gogh's image, images, GAN came up drew new image we, remember, we know van gogh right he's a famous artist this uh, this this was his original painting and based on this painting again came up with new types of painting and it looks so cool, so good now what is gan i'm not gonna go in much details it's a min max game and it's somewhat similar to game theory ian goodfellow in 2014 as part of his phd thesis he came up with gan and from then Lots of research are going on on GAN and it's really doing do, doing great. There are so many new kind of application analysts and scientists are trying to find using GANs. How it works? Say for an example, we have real world data. Data could be image data, transactional data, any types of data. So data is fed to a generator based on the, based on the data, its inherent relationship and statistical property. The generator, which is an artificial neural network, generates synthetic data. And then there is another section which is called discriminator. It acts like a police or quality controller. This is also another neural network. So GANs is basically one neural network working with another or a neural network working inside another neural network. So its job is to check the data and real data and the synthetic data and to make a decision, are those, fa are those fake data or real data? In a sense that this new data, how far they are in terms of properties from the original data. If they're very far, discriminator will tell, okay, generators are fake data in terms of probability, zero to one scale. And generator will re, based on the feedback, it will take the feedback, do some adjustment and regenerate more synthetic data. Discriminator, discriminator will again do, again do the inspection, give the result to generator. If it is good, data will pass. If it is still bad, 
the synthetic data is very far from real kind of data it generates keeps generating more data so it's a kind of looping system that's roughly what GAN is let's see some application before we see some application let's see how GAN can be useful I'm gonna elaborate the example a little bit more here like I explained say for an example the high side and low side uh, if someone who works in the high side have access to the high side data can use GAN generate synthetic data and give it to the low side people who doesn't have access to classified data as an example we do banking right so say for example there is a bank A and they have our data social security number date of birth and many things so those are classified data bank doesn't share with the rest of the world and we don't want bank to share either so they may have a scientist who work in the who was on the payroll of Bank of America who is very clear Bank of America shares all the data with that person there's a third party vendor and they build mathematical modeling for bank fraud modeling sales modeling many types of modeling so they need data the third party says for an example does not have access to the classified site so what bank can do or bank a can do ask the data scientist on his or her payroll okay using GANs generate synthetic data based on the actual data and give the data to the vendor and those data properties are so similar to the actual data the vendor will take the synthetic data build the model and give it back to the person in the closed area which, which, which is on banks side and then that person will use that model on actual data only so if there is no synthetic data which has similar properties to the actual data the third party would not be able to build anything so GAN can solve these clearance issues too I mean we may need less cleared people another application it could be small amount of data say for an example I have 100 transactional data 100 rows of data and I need to build I need to, I'm trying to use neural network I need a lot more data to make the neural network work as an example there could be other kind of modeling too GAN can generate hundreds or thousands and entities of data based on seed data or the small amount of original data and synthetic data plus original data that can be fed on the neural network or that can be used to build a new machine learning or artificial intelligence model so it can solve lacking of data problem and lacking of data is a huge problem nowadays lots of data but data so many data are garbage after cleaning and everything we don't get enough data to build model traditional method GAN can solve data issues like uh, missing values and error values format issues traditionally we use mean median those segregation functions to generate synthetic data and solve those issues GANs is machine learning based and it's more efficient GANs take consideration of the correlation between variables and also uh, inherent statistical distribution and everything so this is how GAN can be useful I'm not going to repeat the same thing but it's almost similar to what we have seen in, at the beginning you guys can take a look but generally the process flow of data generation is we get input data and we analyze the input data and we do feature engineering I mean feature extraction how the statistical distribution and relationship of variables and entities with each other and the trends patterns and based on that we used GANs to generate um, it could be GAN it could be historically when GAN was not there people tried to use artificial neural network or other types of algorithms but with GANs which is more better we generate synthetic data and pass it and then it gets used so that's the process flow these are some case studies I took this example from online and I, I imitated, Im imitated the same algorithm and same coding on my machine using Python running on Anaconda so you can use tensorflow library or package so basically what it did MNIST data there's a data set called MNIST data built in in tensorflow so I use that and that MNIST data has 50,000 60,000 handwritten images 50,000 are training data 10,000 are test data 
so after running GAN, these are the images we get. So no one wrote 9 like this, or 0 like this, or 2 like this, or 8 like this. Based on 50,000 plus 10,000 data, GANs generated these images, handwritten images. Similar way, no one in this world looked like these persons, none of them. GAN took so many real person's images and came up with new images. After running multiple epoch or cycles, GAN came up with this kind of images. This, this is not going to match with any real person in the world. Someone may look like this, but the person may have a different kind of eyebrows. So eye structure might be different. No, no structure might be different. No one gonna match exactly. GAN took so many images and eventually generated these images and came up with this. This is a, these are the examples of how GAN can generate new kind of images. I'll stop here today. Uh, moving forward, I'm going to go through more on the coding side. Uh, I have a website, kindidata.com. Feel free to visit that site if you want to learn more on and off. I try to post. It's a kind of like free and info share platform. I try to post more as I go through.